again, another video. It's your boy Raw Ain't Shot. The boy got to, you know, the tattoos to the sleeve, you know, long sleeve right here, y'all. Y'all go ahead and check that out on the website, y'all. New new gear, got the hats and everything. But in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how you can really, you know, start a clothing brand in 2023 and what all do you need to start a clothing brand. So this is gonna be a long lengthy video so if you got some coffee or anything make sure you drink some coffee because you know we're gonna get straight into it so yeah so what do you need to start a clothing brand in 2023 the first thing you're gonna need when starting a clothing brand in 2023 is the name of your clothing brand the name is the most important foundation of your clothing brand and this is something you're gonna be sticking with for a long time so you got to choose that name very wisely because you don't want to choose a name and you a year or two in and then you don't really like the name or you want to you, you can't do it you know what i'm saying you already locked in with it like so before you even start something make sure you know that you can see yourself potentially potentially see yourself doing it for like five to ten years just to be honest because running a polar brand is not going to be a one year two year thing this is more like a you play in a long run, long game, like it's like real estate. You know, real estate, you know, you play that game, it's a it's a long game, you know what I'm saying? You you gotta have a lot of capital up front. But you know, that's another topic. But so having a name for your clutter brand is definitely the most important thing. Okay, once you have a name, you wanna have you you check out the social media accounts and make sure that nobody got that name. So go on Instagram, go on Facebook. Twitter, wherever you want to make sure you have that name secured on all those platforms because you about to get ready to jump on all those platforms to really start your business in 2023, hopefully. So make sure you have a social media account that has the name, right? Whatever name you pick, you have the social media for Facebook, Instagram, Twitter account, right? So once you got that done, you're going to need a, a website to get people to go to your site because Instagram is owned by somebody, YouTube's owned by somebody, Twitter's owned by some somebody. You want to have your own site where people are going to you to buy your clothes or you know your business. You want people to come to your site. So those three things are the main things to have start as soon as you start off. So that way you already got the foundation set, right? Once you have the foundation set. Hopefully you got a good graphic designer. You can go to like an uh, app like, uh, called Fiverr and hire somebody to design you a logo. And you know what I'm saying? For, for as low as like 30 to 40, 50 bucks, you got you a logo and boom, you set. You got yourself a clothing brand, right? Now, the, me the main thing I'm having a clothing brand is to have, you know what I'm saying? a good quality design because you don't want to have something a clothing brand is kind of a, comp a competitive market kind of like the music or any in industry is very competitive so you got to see how you can stand out from the from the crowd because everybody wants to do music everybody wants to do clothes so how are you going to stand out from the crowd what, what is it what, what is something that's about your brand that's going to make people be like yeah i really want to i really want to uh jump a part of this so find you got to really dig deep on your idea on how you really want your designs from the quality to everything it's got to be at a t because i know from my experience when i first started it when i first started it my quality wasn't all that good and i end up learning through the, the customers it's like you know they'll let, they'll let me know like yo your quality you know I washed the clothes and it kind of was shriveled up a little, you know what I'm saying? So they gon' keep they gonna keep it real. So and, and it was my fault. I was kind of being like the cheap, the cheap way. I was trying to go, you know, do like a cheap quality and try to. I was thinking everything cheap, but it's never good to go cheap. You want to go hard and, and and just make it good quality. You know what I'm saying? Like now I know, like you know, I got good quality now. You know what I'm saying? But this is within years and years and years of trials and tribulations to experiences and all types of stuff to finally get it so one thing you got to have is patience too you know when you're chasing a, a goal a dream it never it's not going to come overnight you might hear all these stories about other brands but knowing deep down inside they really had hardship it was tough 
you might they might have had a crazy story that they probably didn't put out to the public all you see is their brand thriving and they only talking about the success but running a clothing brand costs a lot of money um it's you, you're gonna have some downfalls you're gonna have you're not always gonna be up all the time so you got to kind of go with that when running a clothing brand it's like a baby or something like like you know what I mean? you're gonna have to be with it no matter what even if it falls or if it's at its height you know what i mean so just be prepared mentally for for that to come um another thing when having a clothing brand is having a good marketing strategy for marketing your clothes with if it's brand influencer is a good way that's what the, the most popular way for like nike adidas they always choose athletes and stuff so finding a nice influencer to market will always be good for your uh your brand um another way is tiktok of course tiktok is more it's, it's you could go viral on tiktok a lot of people going viral um youtube shorts you know if you got if you're good at recording videos and stuff putting in youtube shorts is definitely a good way to uh, go viral fast so you got to have a, some type of marketing strategy behind you know what i'm saying putting your brand out and my my final last tip for um you know what I'm saying the whole clothing brand is you know what i mean make sure you you love what you do like you you passionate about your art because as time years go by you want to have different ideas for your brand whether it's different collections or just different anything you want to have different ideas and be creative throughout the process so you actually enjoy what you like doing and you know that's my my final tip so um if you found this video helpful all i ask for is just give it a, you know give me a like give me a subscribe and drop comments if you're a clothing owner yourself and share your experiences how your journey is and i hope everybody in 2023 succeed in their clothing brand business so i'll catch y'all on my next video raw ink shop have a good one peace